I'm here in North London to interview a candidate for the president of the Liberal Democrats, Mark Pack. Let's find out what makes him tick and why he wants to be your president. So Mark, how did you learn the trade of winning elections? I first joined the party in 1990, but really got the campaigning bug thanks to the warm and friendly welcome from Willie Rennie when I went to help in the Kincardine and Deeside by-election. And then doing things like running the party's national digital operation for Charles Kennedy through two general elections. But the thing I'm most proud of is having been the campaign manager in Haunting Wood Green for seven years, during which time we went from having zero councillors to 16 councillors and from having no MP to Lynn Featherstone as our MP, winning the seat with a 15% swing. Winning elections at every level, whether that's local government, whether it's the devolved assemblies and parliaments, whether it's Westminster or whether it's Brussels, is absolutely crucial because it gives us more of that political power that we so desperately need in order to stop Brexit, to save our planet's climate, to heal the divisions in our society and to serve our communities better. That's why winning elections is so important and that's why I've put getting the strategy and the organisation right absolutely the heart of my pitch to be president. So these are big words. How are you going to do it? Well, I've set out a very clear five-point plan based on my long experience in the party, all about making sure that we really mobilise all of those hundreds of thousands of members and supporters that we have at the grassroots, making sure that we become the very best digital campaigners in the country, properly unlocking all of the talents of our members and supporters by being far better on diversity and inclusion than ever before, by always being the voice for party members when key decisions are being made at the centre, and finally, by getting our finances right so that we move away from the boom and bust of unfortunately the party having a financial crisis every few years. And that's not only a promise about what I would do as your president, I've got a record to show that's exactly what I can deliver. I created with David Howarth the core vote strategy after our 2015 debacle. I co-author our general election agent's handbook, providing guidance for those key volunteers all across the country at every general election. I championed the creation of the registered supporter scheme. I supported the group who did the hard graft on reforming our disciplinary process, making it streamlined, and independent. I was one of the key people working to ensure that when the London Assembly was created, we introduced gender balance selection rules right from the very start. And I'm always listening to and informing members, running, for example, the most read unofficial Liberal Democrat website, and also the very popular monthly Liberal Democrat Newswire newsletter. Mark, how about handling the media? This is, after all, a pretty high-profile job you're going for. I've got plenty of experience in the media, whether that's being interviewed by Andrew Neil or grilled by Jeremy Paxman, to just give two examples. But the really key thing the president can do, now we have a new leader, a new deputy leader, a growing parliamentary team, is not to duplicate their efforts in the media, but to make sure we have the strategy and the organisation right to support them and to support all of us. If party members elect me to this role, it will be my only role in the party. So I will be able to remain relentlessly focused on delivering the right organisation and the right strategy so that even more of us can win in future. And there's a real urgency about getting our organisation and strategy right because there are council by-elections every week. There's a huge round of council elections next May when we might even be able to get the first ever Lib Dem Mayor of London elected. Scottish Parliament, Welsh Assembly elections the year after and who knows how many general elections in the next 12 months. So we've not just got to have the right plan, but we've got to have a sense of urgency about getting on and implementing it. So, were those just some of the 101 reasons to vote for Mark Pack for president? You decide. Thank you.